From KTUL-TV News Channel 8 Sports in Tulsa, welcome to Touchdown Friday Night. Sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, Bartlesville Cycle Sports, Reesers, and Osage Million Dollar Elm. It's coverage you can count on from News Channel 8. Hey, welcome to week four of Touchdown Friday Night. This is when it all counts for real, the start of district play. This week's high school action started off with a bang. Great battle between East Central and Central last night. Tonight, another great 5A battle. Undefeated Bishop Kelly, top-ranked Booker T. Washington, that's our game of the week. That's where we go out to right now. Chris Lincoln's at the game, been there all night. Chris, man, what a game and what an ending, huh? Right there. You're so right, Ruben. We said this was our touchdown in front of that game of the week. It was all that and more. Let's get right to the highlights. Here comes Bishop Kelly, 3-0 in the young season, and there are the state champion Hornets at 2-1. Bishop Kelly with a long drive to start the game. This 24-yard run by Stephen Sherwood on first and 15 takes it down to the seven-yard line. Now on a third and goal from the one, they call on Sherwood. He dies for the end zone touchdown. Kelly, they lead it. 7 to nothing, 92 yards they went in 10 plays on the opening drive. Now Washington trying to come back. Eric Bennett, the quarterback, hits his receiver, Kevin Marshall. He's hit and fumbled. The ball recovered by number 36, Alex Levine. Comets back in action again. Now first and 10 at the Hornet 14-yard line. Again, they call on Stephen Sherwood. And again, he breaks tackles into the end zone. 14 nothing, 318 left in the opening quarter. Coach J.J. Tapana of the Kelly Comets had his team well prepared tonight well disciplined. Finally, the Hornets get something going offensively on a third and 15 at their own 14-yard line. That's Eric Bennett scrambling, hitting Dante Barnett for a 45-yard completion, but the Hornets were stopped at fourth and three at the Bishop Kelly 34. Kelly then, before the end of the first half, gets a one-yard touchdown sneak from their quarterback, Jack Cameron, a 67-yard drive, and at the half, it's a stunner. Bishop Kelly 21. Booker T. Washington, nothing. We just Washington quarterback up. Eric Bennett led a furious comeback for the Hornets. He hit Dante Barnett on a 62-yard scoring play in the first play of the second half. Then the same two hook up on a 48-yard touchdown pass to cut the lead to 21-14. 3-10 left in the third quarter. Washington had a chance inside the Bishop Kelly five, but was stuffed. Now back come the Comets, and here's the star of the game, Stephen Sherwood. Breaks it from the 49-yard line, goes 51 yards for the touchdown, his third score of the night. Bishop Kelly upsets Booker T, 28-14. And there are the victorious party. J.J. Tapana, head coach of the Bishop Kelly Comets, and there's his eight-year-old daughter, Emma. Give him that number one sign again, Emma. Number one Comets, coach, that may be the fact of 5A, knocking off the defending champions. Big win for you in your fifth year as head coach here. Yeah, this is a huge win for us. You know, we, we felt like we could do it, although the, uh, the rankings, you know, said that we were an underdog. My kids didn't feel like we were, and they came out and showed it. 4-0 on the season, most importantly probably 1-0 in District 5A, 4, great start. Yeah, it's a great start for us. It helps us uh, start, you know, moving on through the district. And we've got a really, really tough game next week. You know, it'll be just like this game. So At Bixby. Yes, at yeah. Bixby. So it'll be an awesome game. We're real excited. Quick word on Stephen Sherwood, your senior running back, 204 yards, three touchdowns. You know, Stephen is uh, quietly one of the best backs in the state, we think. He's been a three-year starter, 1,000 yards as a sophomore, 1,000 yards as a junior, and he's on track to be, well, you know, he'll break our career rushing record this year probably. Coach, congratulations. Emma, be proud of your dad here. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Thank you Coach. very much. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be surprised, Robert, if you may be making a trip out here with a plaque here for a Ford Award nominee. What a performance by Stephen Sherwood as Bishop Kelly shocks the defending state 5A champion Booker T. Washington Hornets 28-14. to That's the final here. Back to you. All right, we've been to back-to-back -back Booker T games, and they've got back-to-back -back losses. I bet Coach Jimerson don't want to see us near him anytime soon. All right, let's get moving. The Jinx Trojans have been rolling this season so far. The only closed games have been with the Union Redskins. They've rolled over Bixby, rolled over Wasso. Next up, Claremore, a team that just got rolled by Bixby. See how that's all kind of circular? Jinx hosting Claremore, 6 nothing. Trojans up at this point. Not a high-scoring contest when we show up. Sorry, Carl Morgan pass to Steve Carpenter, but he can't hold on to the ball, as you see right there. Zebra's ball in her mid go for halftime. Gavin Little goes deep. Jordan Baskets under the ball at the last possible second. Flag is thrown. It gets Zebra ball on three-yard line. There you go. Then Little finds a big man, a fullback in the end zone. Touchdown 7-6 at that point. Mr. Tyler Butcher, but finally this one, Jinx comes back big time in the second half, 34-13. to 13. All right, some more games going on. Sepulpa at Broken Arrow in uh, Ron Ca Lancaster's final year. This is quad wear, and this is quad getting gone. 
Nice little stiff arm, 39 yards on the touchdown. Not going to be touched by Sepulpa after that. 38 to nothing broken arrow at that point. Uh, John Coleman, and check out this hit by the big guy. Boom, get down. Broken arrow wins this one. Going away, final here, 52 to zip. Mm. How about Muskogee and Bartlesville going at it? This in Bartlesville, we made the trip to Bartlesville to show them some love. Mitch Stevenson connects with Victor Williams to score for a first. Muskogee successful with a two-point conversion that made it eight nothing. But then Bartlesville comes right back with a touchdown catch by Brad Martin. Six to eight at that point, Bartlesville's quarterback connects from easy two-point conversion to Mike Thompson. Final in this one, 35-30, Bartlesville. They're 4-0 as well to start the season as they beat Muskogee. All right, some more scores to pass along to you. Union over Stillwater, 45-7, the final in there, bad boy. Enid and Owasso, and Owasso wins a close one, 14-19. Owasso on top, final there. Ada and Edison, it is all Ada, 35-7. Bigsby all over Miami, 49-7, the final in their matchup. Sky took and Hale, we have it in the third quarter, but it's got to be over by now, 17-12. The last check we had there, Talquan Stillwell in the second. We had it as 14 to 7. Be interested to see how that boy, bad boy wrapped up as well. All right, time for us to take our first break. I'm going to grab a drink of water, as you can tell. It's a little bit parched. When we come back, we got two number one teams trying to uh, stay undefeated. We'll see if Cash Hall and Glenn Poole could both get that done tonight. Right after this.